Today, I'm going to show you how to improve the quality of all of your 3D prints with a couple of quick and easy settings to reduce common problems like stringing. When I saw this print in place dragon model on Colts 3D, I just had to try it out. Print in place models are so cool because it's one of the few things that you can really only do with additive manufacturing and a 3D printer. They have a super cool look to them and these awesome articulating joints. I wanted to take it up a notch too and try to print this out of wood PLA, which is notoriously somewhat difficult to print with. One, it's highly abrasive, so things like brass nozzles wear out extremely quickly. And two, I've found it prone to things like stringing. That's not exactly what I was hoping for. Let's take a look at what went wrong. You've seen those cool videos of people pulling up their print in place things and they just sort of bend and flex really cool right off the print bed. This is a little stiffer. Um, <laughs> it's loosening up as I move it and manipulate it. But you can see there was a ton of stringing. As you saw in my last video, I took care of problem number one. I'm now running a diamond back diamond tipped nozzle, which can handle all of the highly abrasive materials that you can throw at it. So that left us with problem number two. How do you improve the quality of your 3D prints quickly and easily with as little effort as possible? And this can be applied to any material you're printing with. Now some filament will tell you right on the spool what the temperature range should be for printing it. The problem with this is that's the temperature you should print at with the default brass nozzle in your printer. If you have an aftermarket nozzle on your printer that's not made of brass, something like hardened steel, ruby, or even diamond, the conductivity of that material is gonna change the ideal temperature that each of these materials should be printed at. It's also worth noting that the ideal temperature changes from brand to brand. This Prusament PLA is going to print at a different temperature than something from Overture or Sun Loop. It's also going to depend on environmental factors where you live. If it's highly humid or very dry climate, that could change the characteristics of the material and mean that you need to print slightly differently. One of the key tips to improving your print quality is to print something called a temperature tower. A temperature tower, as the name implies, is a special type of G-code you can use to print different temperatures at different layer heights. This shows you very easily how things like overhangs on both of these sides are doing, bridging through the center, and then with these small, highly intricate, detailed pieces, it shows you how bad the stringing is. On the back, you can also see some other overhangs. The cool thing about this is, by analyzing the stringing at each different layer, you can see what the ideal temperature is to print your 3D model. And the reason this is such a big deal is because if you go into Prusa Slicer and you take a look at the default profile for wood PLA, it has you print at 210 degrees Celsius. And if we look at this row, you can see there's a tremendous amount of stringing. The bridging and everything else looks fine, as do the overhangs, but the stringing across those intricate detailed pieces is really bad. And that explains why there's so much stringing on the detailed pieces of this dragon print. Now if we take a look towards the top of the temperature tower, towards 180 degrees Celsius, you can see that the quality of the bridging is still perfect and there's almost no stringing. And it becomes even more apparent when you compare these side by side. So every time I have a new type of 3D printer filament, the first thing I do is try to print a temperature tower so that it helps guide me and tell me where it should be printed at. And it's these small differences that make such a massive difference when you're 3D printing. Hopefully you found that useful. Let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Happy 3D printing.